Hey, it's Risa G, tooling around in my cluttered kitchen again. And today I thought I'd come in and talk about a specific type of gadget or group of gadgets, the chopper. Hand choppers, Vidalia onion chopper, choppers. Um, now I realized last Tool Tuesday was also about my favorite gadgets and I did not include these. And I'm sure you wonder, why didn't you include those, Risa? Well, because I feel that they are a whole separate group. And I love these two specifically a lot. And I wanted to talk specifically about them. Um, and I'm not putting knives in this situation either, because I think that's for a whole nother video of just about knives. So, I'm talking about the hand chopper. This one specifically is a Pampered Chef one, um, but I've also used OXO, Xylus, some of the other companies. They're all pretty much the same. They both, you know, you press down, they both have a thing that goes around in the center. They both come with a little cup to hold the stuff. They both come apart. They all come apart. Um, but, um, so, this one just happens to be Pampered Chef. Um, and then the Vidalia Onion Chop Wizard, which I am madly in love with. Um, so anyway, so I thought I'd talk about those specifically today. I'll give you my pros, my cons, and show you what I think they do pretty well and what they don't do well. Or I may not show you that, but I will tell it to you. And I thought I would do an onion, a little bell pepper, a little mushroom, just to show you what they do and what it looks like afterwards. All right, so the hand chopper obviously has this little thing that you press on, and as you press it, it chops and or minces, and then inside it, the pieces move around, so they go in a circle. So this one has a little bit of onion in it, you have to slice the onion a little bit first. And then you have to really hit pretty hard. Alright. And see, it doesn't really do too great a job. You really have to, for onions anyway, you really have to chop really hard for it to do anything decent. Um, so, and as you can see, they're all very uneven. One's larger, you know. And then one's really small. So, I mean, if you're going for presentation, then this isn't the way to go. If you're just making a bunch of onion to put into your pilaf or um, into a saute or a salsa, whatever, and you don't really care what the shapes and the sizes look like, you're not looking for perfect knife cut then this is okay. Um, so that's onion. As you can see, didn't do too great a job. Um, and then here's a little bit of bell pepper. Same thing. Bigger pieces, itsy bitsy pieces. Not really, you know, I mean, so if you if, if, if you just want something for, you know, a couple of garlic cloves here and there, a little bit of onion for a recipe, whatever, then this is the way to go. All right. As you can tell, that, that, that to me is a con. Two different sized pieces. Whatever. Okay. So my pros, I would say it stores very easily. All right. All the pieces go together. All right, all the pieces go together, and they store very easily in my thing. Um, it's good for jobs where you really don't care what the pieces look like. You don't care about even cooking. You know, so you want them all evenly sized and shaped for cooking. Um, if you're just making a salsa sauce, you're sauteing it down, and it's going to become mush anyway, and it doesn't matter what it looks like, then this is fine. Um, it's great for small amounts, so like, I use it mainly for chopping and mincing garlic, 
and then I put the cover back on if I'm doing it an hour or so before that way it doesn't smell up the kitchen that I like it encases the smells really well all right those are my pros cons obviously doesn't make even cuts that matters um, it doesn't cut things with slimy outsides very well Oh, so if you're going to put the pepper in, you put it in upside down. That way it gets the surface, and the surface is a little bit rougher. And so it'll cut it a little better. The other side is a little shinier and softer. Um, and it's not good for large amounts. I mean, the only way you can do a large amount is if you put it out on your work surface and then go around, boom, 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 you know, whatever. Okay? So that's my pros and cons of that. Okay, now, the uh, Vidalia Chop Wizard Pro is another story all together. And um, I like it a lot for many reasons. First of all, it comes with three shapes and sizes of cutters. This one is a half an inch, there's a quarter inch and then there's one that looks more like a, a julienne or a stick shape um, it does a really good job of onions but you gotta slice the onion down a little bit for it to do it all right so you put it in you press where it says push all right boom and it goes in all right it holds up to four cups which is wonderful so if you're doing a large amount of prep work, like you do once a week prep work for all your recipes, which I used to do and really should go back to doing again, uh, it's wonderful because it all goes in and you can keep it in there uh, at room temperature and that's terrific. Uh, you have it all in one spot. You don't. You can even like, carry it to different work surfaces and it's it holds it. It holds a lot. That's, um, all right, so it stores these. It also stores very easily. It comes in this box with all the pieces. And so it stores very easily. It's got good for jobs where, you know, all right, it's good for large amounts, for a large job, but you can also just do a little bit. And it does a little bit just fine, but then you can also, yeah, you know, plus it does other vegetables really well. Okay, I I do all kinds of vegetables in it. Now, obviously, I didn't do that amount very well, but it does. It, if you're doing lots, large amounts, it does go down. Uh, especially if you put a couple of pieces on top of each other, it goes down into the thing. Um, it's that. It's very easy to clean up the larger vegetables and the harder vegetables um, not so much with onions or garlic where it gets in, like stuck into these little corners um, but if you soak it in warm water everything comes off very easily um, and when you chop smelly things like garlic or onions and you're doing it ahead of time you can just close it and it encases the smell really well um, as I said my con it's hard to clean onions they get stuck the skin gets stuck underneath here see it gets stuck underneath here and it gets stuck in the corners uh, same thing with garlic it gets stuck in there and some folks I've read complaints that this part the uh, this part breaks on them after a while I've had this about six months nothing's broken and I really like it because I like to do large amounts at one time and package them out for each recipe and that way later on in the day when I'm tired and I really don't feel like cooking everything's already prepped all I have to do is take it out of the refrigerator and cook it up I don't have to do any chopping which means I don't have to make more mess I like that a lot and it makes it and it does as I said it stores four cups which is terrific um, so those are my two mixer my two choppers and um, why I like them so much and um, I guess I have no more to say about that 
So if you have any other choppers or gadgets that you prefer, you can tell me about them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. Don't forget to click that little bell to get notifications of all my new videos. And thanks for sitting down at the table in my cluttered kitchen to watch me chop, chop, chop. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey, it's Risa G, tooling around in my cluttered kitchen again. And today I thought I'd come in and talk about a specific type of gadget or group of gadgets, the chopper. Hand choppers, Vidalia onion chopper, choppers. Um, now I realize last Tool Tuesday was also about my favorite gadgets and I did not include these. And I'm sure you wonder, why didn't you include those, Risa? Well, because I feel that they are a whole separate group. And I love these two specifically a lot. And I wanted to talk specifically about them. Um, and I'm not putting knives in this situation either, because I think that's for a whole nother video of just